In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix the Steam runtime communication error. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. For the first method, close out Steam entirely. Something you might want to consider is to uninstall the Paradox Launcher V2 from your computer before proceeding. For this first method, press the Windows key plus R you will bring up the Windows Run window. If you cannot press the Windows key on your keyboard, just click on the Windows Start menu and look for Run to bring up this window. In here, type percentage app data percentage and press OK. You will be automatically redirected to the app data folder. And what you have to do here is look out for these folders as I'm showing you on screen. You can also go back one folder to go to the local folder in order to look for the other folders that I'm showing you on the picture. Delete these folders in order to ensure that you won't encounter the runtime error. After you delete those folders, right click on Steam and before opening it, make sure you run as an administrator when you open up Steam. If these methods don't work, the last step is to open up your web browser and check if the Steam servers are up and running. So go to Steam status and check to see if all servers are operational. Sometimes there's nothing you can do on your end and Steam is just having problems. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix the Steam runtime communication error. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.